G'day guys, Matt from Extreme Auto, carrying and camping with you again today on a monster job, 48 volt setup from uh, Bruce at Safari. Shout out to old mate, done a good job once again. So this is running the um, bi-directional Scotty DC system, pretty cool. Um, I won't get too much into it, but let's just say it's um, very powerful. Um, charging from the alternator in this, we're getting monster amounts of wattage. Um, over two and a half thousand watts to be exact. So that's enough to keep up with the microwave running and the AC at the same time. Lots of power here, it's huge. So we've got the 48 volt set up over here. Um, three modules there, 2.4 kilowatts each. We've got the MultiPlus 48 3000 here, um, running all of the mains GPOs in this. So microwave, AC, uh, fridges on a bypass, uh, hot water even if you want, if you want to speed things up. So, you know, run induction cooking, the whole kit and caboodle on this one. Now, the 12 volt side of Scotty is running all of the factory stuff. So your lights, your pumps, your ignition for your, your hot water, your ignition for your fridge, everything that's 12 volt, all your 12 volt outlets. Um, this is an overlay system, so this can be pretty much put in any RV you get out there. Um, it overlays straight over the top of the 12 volt. We've removed the 12 volt house batteries. That's right, there's no 12 volt house batteries at all. Everything runs off the 12 volt side of Scotty because um, it's a bi-directional um, DC setup. So more on that at his website, check that out. Anyway, this setup here, it's all running now at the moment. So I'm gonna give you guys a bit of a quick run. I'll run the AC, we'll fire up the engine and we'll show you some numbers. All right, so Riley's gonna fire up the engine here. And we just watch this for a moment. Now it's on idle. Let Scotty figure out what's going on. There we go. So she's ramping up now, as you can see. Look at that. So that's on idle. Look at the wattage we are pumping in to this 48 volt battery bank. You know, that's that's just awesome power at the moment. Give it a few revs, Riley, bring it up to 2000. Riley's gonna rev it up a bit here. Look at that, 27. Wow, how good's that? That's, um, that's charging at what I call warp speed. And that's how it should be done, look at that. That's the Scotty doing all of that. Big charge. All right guys, so I've got the uh, Dometic Harrier Plus on 30 and flat out. I can hear the uh, inverter ramped up at the moment. There it is, that's so climbing slowly. So we're, we're free camping essentially at the moment now. We're not plugged in the shore, engine's not running. This is just what it's pulling from the 48 volt battery bank at the moment. Now what I'm gonna get Riley to do is fire up the engine. I want you to watch this closely. And you watch what Scotty does. Watch that DC power there. Keep an eye on it. Look at that battery. It's into plus now, there it is. Three amps, six amps, that's a 48 volts, remember guys. 12, 14, look at that. Look at that wattage. Chuck a couple of revs on it, Riley. We're running the AC, guys, at a 1,000 watt load close to. There we go. Now, look at that power. So, just to put this into perspective for you guys out there that are um, a bit wary about the numbers, if you just look at the wattage, it's all relevant. Look at the watts going into the battery bank. 2,600 watts straight out of that alternator. The AC is only, the, the air conditioner is only pulling, you know, 900 watts there. So, you do the math, the rest of it is going into the battery bank. So yes, while we're running, we're running the roof AC and replenishing this battery bank. Now that's what you call DC charging. So we've got the uh, air conditioner really ramping up now. You can probably hear it in the background. And Scotty's still keeping up with it. It's actually matching pretty close to what it's pulling. There you go. That's an idle, yeah, Roddy? Yeah. Yep, so we're on idle at the moment, and that's pretty much matching what is coming out. What a setup. And we've got Scotty under the driver's seat. A bit hard to see, but there you go. So that's under the driver's seat there. And we've got the slide mechanism, which is all there. And that's where everything so this whole section slides all the way in so we've got a lot of a lot of cabling running all the way through here around the back there into scotty 
and over to the main battery. So this whole side has to slide um, without interfering with any of this. It was challenging, but we got there in the end, and uh, what a setup.